Hello there and welcome to the July update of Rono's garden. As you can see, most of my garden and grass has dried out because July was a very hot but also very dry month. You can also see in the middle that the early nodal potatoes are harvested as well as the broad beans. Furthermore, you can see that July really was the month of the sunflowers as these have grown a lot and are now very beautiful. We start the update with the three head of lettuce that I have left. When it starts to rain I will sow some more. Then here we have our eggplants that are doing really well because of the hot weather and as you can see the eggplants are starting to form as well and I'm really proud of this. Next up we have the purslane that is starting to make seeds so I really need to harvest these. Then we have the black radish that I need to water because I've sown them early July and they've only known drought so they need a little bit of water. Here we have the red beets, only four left. And here we have the Swiss chard that's still growing very nicely. Here we have our two yellow pepper plants that also need water and I give water in these black cups so that the water goes directly to the roots and doesn't get wasted. Here's to the broad beans. Here we have two rows of beans. I also water the young ones because these are also planted in the dry month of July. Here we have some older beans that don't need extra watering. And as you can see, I've moved my support structure from the peas to the beans. Then here we have our late no-till potatoes that are still on the field. Here we had our early no-till potatoes. Over here are the two big zucchini plants that give about two to three zucchinis every day. So next year I think I will only plant out one zucchini plant. Here we have our onions that are ready for harvest because all of the leaves have fallen down. Then next up is the parsnip that is doing actually really well as this is a root crop so they have very big roots and that still can get plenty of water. Here we have our carrots also a root crop that are growing really well as you could see here from this harvested carrot. A very big and straight carrot so I'm really proud of my carrots this year. Next up we have the butternut pumpkins and I already have three to four butternut pumpkins growing on the plant that are ripening at this moment so I will give these another month I guess here we have my cabbages here we have the broccoli plants next up are the two red cabbages that are starting to form heads And then here we have my three big savor cabbages. Here we have the cat that as you can see is sitting next to a small hole on the left. That's because there are mice in that hole and she's always waiting outside. Here we have my cover crop that is starting to flower out. So I will work this in the soil when it starts to rain because now the soil is way too dry and also there are still some flowers left that I keep for the bees.
And then here we have my sunflowers. And they really enjoy this kind of weather because sunflowers, as the name already says it, enjoy lots of sun. These flowers really are an eye catcher in the garden and they also provide food for bees and other pollinating insects. And then finally we have my two strawberry plants that are starting to spread out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time.